I am the creative lady and this is the Nappy Licious TV. In today's video y'all I'm going to share with you my hair and a couple haul items so if you want to see what I'm sharing and hauling keep on watching. Let's get into the hair. This is a day one wash and go with some new products. Now I think I share with you guys my technique is always the same which is the Anthony Dickey method but the products may vary so this particular wash and go looks very different from the one that i did when i was in the collaboration with the ladies uh last week i'll leave that video linked up here and you can see how much more stretched my hair is as opposed to now i get it's different you know and i'll get into that in a second but i'm going to show you the products that i have in my hair I had to go to Walmart at 4.30 yesterday morning to get some Drano because I think my little hair stopper has let, let some hair get through. So I had like a little slight little club, Mercury is retrograde, Google it, all kinds of things be going on. Okay, but anywho, instead of just going to get the doggone Drano at 4.30, I go down the hair aisle. So I ended up uh, getting the... Curls Poppin' Pineapple Collection. And I had been seeing this online, but I was like, I was not going to go out of my way to find it. So even though I am a product junkie in recovery, I didn't go all out of my way. But when I saw the product and smelled the product, I bought the product, okay? So I bought four of the five items in the collection um i think there's a, a a conditioner a deep conditioner that i did not get and i think i overlooked it because i think the font looked so similar this is the curl wash okay and i think the mask looks just like that so you look at the four letters wash and mask the font is very similar i may have just thought that this was a duplicate product you know so i did not get the conditioner and i really want to go back and get the conditioner because i want to have the entire line to give it a you know a fair review so i did film a little bit of this but since i didn't have the um conditioner i'm gonna hold off on that and come back when i've got the entire line but the item like i said that i did get is from the brand curls Curls is one of my first lines that I used back in the day when I went natural where they had, the, I think it was like in little jars, they had the uh, Curls milkshake and I think some type of souffle and there was some type of lime shampoo condition or something, like something. It was interesting and it was a very good, I think organic line of products, but you know, Product junkieism takes over, new products, new lines come out, brands, and you just try different things. But Curls has always been one of my favorites, especially that um, edge control gel. I don't, I'm looking around for it, but I don't think I have it available here. But yeah, I love the Curls brand. I love pineapple, so this was right up my uh, alley. So I got the So So Clean Vitamin C Curl Wash. Everything in the line was $9.99, so reasonably priced, okay? Then I got the So So Smooth Vitamin C Leave-In Conditioner, 8 ounces for $9.99. And then I have the So So Def Vitamin C Curl Defining Jelly, and I got to come back to this. And then I also picked up the... So, so fresh vitamin C and mint scalp treatment. And this is an oil. So, everything worked well. Everything smells amazing, like pineapples. Um, again, I want to go ahead and go back and get that conditioner. Or, yeah, because I didn't have it. I had to substitute uh, one of the Shea Moisture products. And I just really want to stick with the entire line before I give you my opinion of it. But this curl defining jelly is a weird texture. It, I'll try to show you what it looks like. Okay, if you can see, I'm just using my phone. Okay, if you can see that. Now, if I let it go, you see that? It is 
thick translucent kind of jelly it reminds me if you have ever opened up a uh, one of those big avocado leaves you know like not avocado gosh uh, aloe vera gel you know aloe vera leaves plant it looks like that and the texture it does not come off on your hand per se look it's not really moving it's, it's some type of jelly like it says okay I, this, this is not a really really good example but it is a almost like um okay if you have ever opened up a sample product from a brand and you know that uh sticky stuff that they put this non-damaging that little yeah it's kind of like those things in a way it's 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 see it's kind of buoyant meaning it's not sticking and it's a weird consistency but um i liked it but it's just i want to go back with the um the whole brand but yeah that's this line I, it smells amazing and when i used it in the shower everything smells like pineapples until i put this uh oil on i used like the leave-in and the oil and then um i put the jelly on but when i put this on top of the leave-in this peppermint is it's tingly if you don't like tingly you might not like this but it was very not overpowering no but it was just very tingly and the mint you know the mint made it tingly but the scent was still the pineapple -y scent and when that heat from the water and all of this got together my scalp was so tingly and it's a scalp treatment so i like that i wish it had like a little squeeze tube on it but you know you can always repurpose one from something else and then once these things married together in the shower it almost turned into mango even though it's pineapple i got like a, a tropical fruit salad in a way like a mango pineapple-y fruity amazing so if you have these in your walmart go down the aisle and see if you can find them i really I think they're going to be good but i just want to give it a fair shake let me give you a look of my whole head my curls were really defined. I did diffuse it like I normally do, but it's just a different type of first day hair. Uh, the last video I had used uh, Aunt Jackie's on my hair, I had put the uh, leave-in, what was it? The Kimmy Tube leave-in. Then I put the oil, it was by Cream of Nature. Uh, the one in a little bottle. I don't think I have it in here. You know, a little container. And then I had the Aunt Jackie's gel on top of that. And then I sat, you know, a lot of product, a lot of water. Sat underneath the hooded dryer, uh, diffused it, and then stretched it with the concentrated nozzle. I did all of that with this hair. And it's just different. And I, when I went to sleep this morning, I put the bonnet on and just got up this morning and just shook it. I just came back from work meeting with my new principal of course i think i told y'all i'm gonna have to do a little work over the summer updating you know the website and all of that so the good thing is it's going to be a cloud-based website as opposed to my having to physically be at the job updating the website because normally i used to update the site only at location because it was on the district's uh, licensed web host and all of that and there was only one license that was available so I'm like well let me just make sure it's at work and not at my house but given that I know that I'm gonna have to work I really don't mind it being a web-based or cloud-based um, update so I'm excited about that air conditioner coming back on but anywho y'all um, that's that about the hair update met with my principal I'm excited about the new school year you know everything new can be good okay I'm just excited uh, on my face I've got on mm, the Fenty foundation I don't think I publicly told you guys about it uh, or wore it in a video I had it on in the collaboration video and I've got it on now uh, this is the shade I think it's Legos Legos L-A-G-O-S I was unsure because this is the one that had the olive I'm like I'm neutral I like to wear neutral but I wasn't sure whether I was olive or some other shade I just took a chance I was gonna get 
the one before or underneath this one. This is 240, I think. Yeah, 240. Legos, the Lagos. And uh, Legos. Legos. Uh, 240. I think I was thinking about 230. And I think that may be Burkina or something like that. But I went ahead and tried Legos. And I think it's a decent match. I don't know what is coming off on camera. I don't have on a whole lot even though I put out a whole lot. I put it on top of my crayon case. Uh, I think this is my Angolola. Look at here, you can't even see the words on this thing. And I, I don't know, I was in a hurry trying to leave home to go meet with my principal. And I just squeezed out a little bit too much. And let me tell you, I put it on the amount that I had on here, came back and touched up a little bit for the video because I've been gone still got some left over so when they say this product is thick juvia's she thick she is thick and i could probably scrape some off but i don't want to but look she's thick is juvia's place canceled for me i don't know i'm not necessarily with the culture of the cancellation culture you know uh if you do something to me personally yes and i get that you know situations going on but I don't know I'm not all the way con convinced that I'm canceling Juvia's place she sent me my stuff you know I paid for my stuff I don't know I, I when you're dealing with influencers and branding and making money some people I don't know I, I don't I don't know y'all I don't know I don't know but I am wearing the foundation right now the powder when it did arrive i did it separate orders like i showed you guys it arrived in this little bitty container little bitty don't know how many ounces it is it is very light i used it to kind of lightly set my foundation but i was too scared to go too powdery because this is truly i don't think not my shade you know Look at that's more of a golden i don't know but it seemed to work i guess you let me know but i didn't i didn't casket ready my face you know I just kind of set my shiny areas and brushed it off really quick I don't know so I don't really have a good opinion yet about the found of uh, the uh, powder but it looked much lighter in person than it does on the website and we know lighting and contrast uh, editing and stuff like that makes things different than what they are in person so I don't know and I got the shade next to the last one and I got Gobi I don't know y'all if I had gotten the deeper shade it might have been too orange or red or something so I don't know I'm not gonna I wouldn't repurchase at this point another um, powder from Juvia's but the foundation I'm digging it um yeah there's another shade that I want to get and what I figured out I think there are one or two shades that everybody can get in this foundation if you're still down with Juvia so I don't know Speaking of Juvia's, I've got on, uh, underneath the Juvia's, I've got this uh, Tatcha a primer, the silk canvas under here. You know, I, I'm not in love with it. And even though I got a sample, I'm going to try to use it up this year as much as I can. I, I, it just didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So, I don't know. But back to um, my... Uh, okay, I got a combination of things. I got a conglomeration of things. I got Juvia's Zulu palette on because I got on this shirt from Yes Lioness and it's colorful. And I'm like, well, let me throw on a little more eyeshadow for the people. So the people got some eyeshadow, okay? Um, so I got the Zulu palette and I own all of Juvia's eyeshadow palettes. Don't come out with no more because I just can't right now with y'all's Juvia's. <laughs> But these are the, uh, the colorful palette, and it see, just kind of goes with what I'm wearing. So I got on, I want a yellow, but I didn't put a base on, so I had to build it up with the orange shade. Then I went in with a little bit of the purple. I tried to do something with the green, but it was like, uh-uh. So I wasn't going to take anything off and try to, you know, put a primer on or anything. I'm like, mm, whatever. So that's kind of the oh, sunset purple on my eyes 
and I think I did in the crease, I think I did with the brown to start off with, and then I kind of built it up. So I got on one, two, three, four of the shades in the Zulu palette. Then I also, since I wasn't getting enough pigmentation without a base, I said, let me break out on Natasha. Come on here, no, no. <laughs> so I broke out the Natasha Denona. And I think I just went into one shade, which is probably my favorite shade. And it is, I can't remember now whether it was the orange or the yellow. I think it was more the orange shade. And the orange shade is called Jasper. So I went in with this shade right here, Jasper, just to build up that orange in my eyes, okay? I'm working on it, y'all, because I am an eyeshadow palette junkie, and y'all don't ever hardly see me really just say go in, but I did a little something, something, trying to do a lot better. So I got that shared with you. Um, what else? Oh, I had a package come in from Amazon. You know, I'm on this skincare journey, and I needed, I needed some, um, some uh, sponges to cleanse my face with. Even though I've got the Clarisonic, I feel like sometimes with the state of my current skin issues, uh, it might be a little bit too much sometimes. But I remember back in the day, I was on this skincare regimen from Edgar Morris, honey. Yes, I was one of those who fell in love with infomercials back in the 80s or was it the 90s? I think it was the 90s. Marla Gibbs and Lynn Whitfield and Stephanie Mills and all of them were talking about the Edgar Morris skincare. You wash your face with all these different steps what Jackie Ina is doing now but Edgar Morris had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps back then and you were putting ice on your face. So I decided that I needed to get that facial sponge again to use with my products to kind of help lightly exfoliate because a lot of people are like, don't use, you know, face, face towels on your face because of the bacteria and germs and stuff, you know. And I get that, but I'm like, it's only my body and my face, but, you know, I get it. But I do have separate, you know, washcloths, but I get it. So, anywho, I want something exclusive for uh, my face. So, I got these compressed facial sponges from Amazon. I think it should be about... Is it 50? I don't know. It might be 20, between 25 and 50 of them in here. And they are like dried fruit in a way, I think. I hadn't opened them yet, but here, here they are. And I'm thinking that this got to be at least 50 in here. So you wet them and they're reusable, but biodegradable once you are done with them. So it's something good for the planet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try to open one and show you how they look like little flattened wafers in a way like that and this is two of them so this to show you how thin they are and i'm gonna go ahead and whip one to show you how they fluff up and i haven't opened them so i don't really know how much they're gonna fluff up so let me if i can turn the water on Ooh, amazing y'all look oh wait it's thin linda linda Okay, I'm going to show you one. Okay, this is the um, compressed one. And look at this. The thickness. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is going to be perfect for travel. I'll leave a link to my Amazon store down below. If you make a purchase, I will earn a commission if you make a purchase within 24 hours. Amazon is just like that. But anywho, uh, this is the difference. Okay, and then it's like a sponge and you just cleanse your face or your body if you want to with it and I came into awareness of these from using the Edgar Morris skincare system uh, years and years ago so got that shared with you stopped off at Whole Foods and Sprouts to get a watermelon walked out with everything but a watermelon okay in Whole Foods all I ended up getting was this Ren Pure biotin and collagen thickening leaving spray i don't know it was on sale that's why i got it um and then when i went into trader joe's honey 
had to get my JoJo cookies. Then these are the vanilla bean. It's like a vanilla bean. It's with real vanilla bean speckle. If you've got a Trader Joe's in your area, get these cookies right here. These are delicious. And I don't even like vanilla cookies. I'm more of a chocolatey cookie, you know, sandwich cookie person or peanut butter. But these are good. And I also got a Neapolitan one. I forgot to bring it in here because you know where I am and I'm kind of weird about, but it's unopened. So, but yeah. So I got those items. Showed you the Amazon haul. Also, I did a little mixing up yesterday. When I was in Walmart, I bought another little spray bottle because I wasn't sure if I had a, an empty one or not. I wanted to make a leave-in mist for my hair. So I kind of sort of made it like the Kimmy Tube leave-in. I'll leave that video that I've done uh, linked up here. But I wanted like a refresher for my hair. So what I put in this container was a little bit of the... Um, uh, this is leave-in conditioner, the Curl Poppin' Pineapple Leave-In Conditioner, some aloe vera juice, about, I don't know, just juice, about that much, okay? It's not squeezy skin, about, you know, just whatever amount of conditioner. Then I added a little of jojoba oil, and then I added a little bit of this oil. And that was it, because the Kimmy Tube Leave-In Conditioner recipe calls for the Kinky Curly, not today, but I didn't want to put that in. I wanted to just kind of stick with this line, and it smells very pineapple-y. Now, I have not used it today as a refresher. I could probably add a little bit more um, aloe vera juice to the mixture, but I didn't. But yeah, I'm gonna, I wanted like a morning, you know, like a refresher for my hair. So I'm gonna just try it right now. Let's see if my hair was just waking up. See the thickness of the cream in there? I probably need to add a little bit more um, uh, aloe vera juice to the mix just to thin it out a little bit. I didn't want to add water because I wasn't sure, but I might end up adding some water. But you can see right now the extra stretch that I've got to my hair. So I think in the morning, this could be a really nice refresher. But again, I don't want it to be too thick and white in my hair. So I may thin it out with either a little water or a little more aloe vera juice or a combination of a little water and aloe vera juice you know so this is stretched hair so we'll see how this works out but anywho y'all make sure that you subscribe to my channel i am on summer vacation and i do plan to at least film a boatload of videos so that i can at least have them out because if you're not someone who makes youtube videos you don't even know the process. It is a lot. If you're not just popping on live to try to do a detailed tutorial on hair or crafting or cooking or makeup or whatever, it's a lot. So shout out to my fellow content creators who are doing a thing, okay? It is a lot when you want to edit, but I'm just kind of wanting to pop on and just share with you in case you are out and you see some things so that you can grab them or, you know, know how they work. And that's the whole reason for my sharing a haul. I was really thinking about stopping sharing the haul. What do y'all think? Because some people think, you know, it, 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 to me, my channel is a mix. Some people like it, some people don't but it just depends on what I'm sharing. So let me know what you think about haul videos on my channel and I will take it into consideration. I know that when I look at my analytics on YouTube, the numbers, it's everybody's watching the hair videos, even the older hair videos. So we'll see. But just let me know what y'all think because you all are joining me and make sure you subscribe, like I said, because most of the folks who watch my videos are not subscribed and that really helps the content creator out by subscribing to the channel because youtube feels that it has some type of value to the viewer and a lot of you are repeat people who come back so while you're here just go ahead on and subscribe i would appreciate it and uh i think that's everything y'all yep 
that's it thank y'all for watching and i will see you in the next video bye y'all